So you're working really long hours, you're not getting enough sleep, and you're starting to feel burnt out. What do you do? Well, look no further because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to prevent burnout from happening, and if you're a little burnt out right now, I'm gonna give you some very actionable strategies to help you get out of that rut over the next few minutes. If you're a coach, an entrepreneur, or a course creator, and you care about making more income and impact, you're in the right place. My name is Richard, I'm a high performance coach and a business coach, and over the past year, my team and I have generated well over $750,000 through selling coaching and consulting. And in this video, let's jump into the nitty gritty of how to overcome burnout. Now the first thing you need to understand about preventing burnout from happening is it really takes place on a micro and macro scale. And so let me break down micro first before we touch anything else. On a micro scale, that means what are the activities that you're doing on a daily basis that are really getting in the way of sustaining your motivation to continue growing your business? Look, I get it. You have a lot on your plate. Every single team member employee is shouting at you for your attention. Your phone, your notifications are going off left and right and it's always a frenzy. Welcome to the world of entrepreneurship, my friend. Well, look, it doesn't have to be that way because it turns out that if you set up the right systems and the right infrastructure and your daily disciplines, that's how you prevent burnout from getting the best of you. And so the first thing that we want to take a look at is going to be your sleep. Because it turns out that if you're not sleeping consistently over and over and over, one of the first things that we begin to compromise on is we think we can get away with not sleeping enough by using supplements, enhancements like caffeine, right? You start drinking more tea, you start drinking more coffee. All of a sudden before, when you're getting eight hours of sleep and you felt really, really good, now you're only sleeping six hours a night and you're supplementing that by drinking more caffeine. And the problem with this is the caffeine is really only providing a temporary solution, but your body is already decomposing. It's already breaking down and that sleep fatigue is only accumulating more and more and more. And at a certain point, you will break. And so if you're feeling really overwhelmed right now, the first thing I want you to take a look at is, take a look into the past 30 days. How has your sleep been? On a micro scale, how we make sure that you do not allow burnout to happen is first things first, we need to set up something called an anchor. And an anchor is a significant time step within your day that triggers and reminds you to stay on schedule. So the first anchor that you should always implement in your life is the hard stop for the end of the day. What time of day are you absolutely committed to stopping all work, right? That for myself is currently 5.30 p.m. in the afternoons. And so what happens is when you set this anchor, you now know you will not allow any calls to take place after that. You will not allow for any extra work or any emails or any answering messages to take place after that. And what's so easy is you can even set an alarm on your phone to go off at 5.30 that reminds you that, hey, you gotta take a break now, right? So at 5.30 p.m., that's your first anchor, right? And then you should go ahead and begin initiating any of the activities that you do afterwards, whether that's eating dinner, whether that's going for a walk, or heck, even just enjoying one of your favorite TV shows on Netflix. I love watching The Office because Michael Scott is the funniest guy there is. But that's besides the point. Now, once you set your anchor for 5.30, now we have to transition into the next anchor of the day. And that's just gonna be your devices off anchor. And the reason why we have to have an alarm, an anchor that sets in place for when we turn off our devices, is it turns out devices are extremely destructive to our sleep routine. And so what happens is when you set an alarm for when you need to turn your devices off, I would recommend for the last one hour before your bedtime. We do this for two reasons. The first is because the blue light from your devices, whether that's your phone, your laptop, your television, that's going to trick your mind into thinking it's still daytime. And so when you do that, you're not gonna wanna fall asleep because your brain still thinks that it's time to work. Now, the second reason why, and this is more the realistic reason, is because if you're on your phone, by the end of the day when you're super tired, you tend to just spend hours and hours and hours and it just begins to drag on. It's terrible, right? You think about it from my perspective. I know for a fact that by the time it's 7, 8 p.m., I've already been up since 5 a.m., I'm exhausted. And if I'm scrolling on my phone and I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, a couple really bad things are gonna happen. Either I just start watching more and more content, I start wasting time, and I don't have the willpower to stop myself anymore, and the dopamine hits that I'm getting from social media are getting to my head and I wanna continue on, or, and this is me being really vulnerable with you, one thing I've struggled with in the past is overcoming pornography, and that's gonna trigger me to wanna go and see something that's even a little bit more scandalous, like pornographic images. And that's terrible, because at the end of my day, that's when you're the most weak. That's when you give in to your vices. I don't have the willpower anymore because I've exhausted all of it from the entire day, 
And so that's when I'm most likely and most vulnerable to giving into an addiction like pornography. And so the reason why we need to set an anchor to bring it back to preventing burnout is when that alarm goes off, you turn off your phone, you turn off the laptop, you turn off all electronics, that eliminates the distraction that can result in all these destructive habits from happening. And so when this happens, you now know, okay, it's time to get to bed. And then the third thing that we're gonna do here when it comes down to our micro recovery within a day is you need to have a consistent action that you do every single day that signals that your mind that it's time to power down. For myself, 30 minutes before I go to bed every single evening between eight to 9 p.m., I'm gonna go and take a nice hot shower. I know it sounds so basic, but when I do that, my mind begins to think, all right, it's time to get to bed. And so once I finish taking that hot shower, I go to bed, I relax, and I am good to go for falling asleep, rest and easy. And so if you have these simple things within your micro, within your day, that's what's gonna prevent you from ever slipping into not getting enough sleep. So remember, first anchor is going to be end of work day. Second anchor is gonna be electronics off, and then the third is gonna be for you to have a consistent activity that signals it's time to sleep. Now, once we figure out the micro, let's transition into a bigger scale. That's gonna be your macro. Because it turns out that if you're not taking breaks on a longer, on a bigger scale within your life, you're still gonna burn out, regardless of how much sleep that you get on a daily basis. And so the way that I personally combat this is I like to do macro breaks. And so once every month, I do a three day weekend when typically I only do one to two day weekends. And so by taking a three day weekend, that gives me something to look forward to. And it also gives me some more extended time to get off of work. Now, once we do a three day weekend once a month, once a quarter, that means once every three months, I'll go ahead and take a four to five day vacation. And the reason why this is so powerful is because when I can do this, that truly allows for me to relax, get my mind off of work. And so by the time I get back to work, I am truly energized and invigorated to get into work. And this is not something that I have personally developed. In fact, I've learned this from some of the greatest entrepreneurs out there like Bill Gates, because it turns out that Bill Gates every single year will do something called a think week. That's when he tells his entire company, all of Microsoft, hey, I don't wanna be involved, do not bother me. And he takes a plane, he flies into a small cottage that's on a lake, and he just relaxes for a week. He reads, he takes walks, and he just uses his personal quiet time to think about how he's gonna make even better decisions for the business moving into the coming year. And so it turns out that sometimes the best thing that you can do for your business is not actually work, is to pull back a little bit and think. And thinking is going to allow for you to move a lot faster. Now, what do we do if burnout actually does happen, right? What we've been talking about thus far in the micro and macro is how do you prevent burnout? But once burnout does happen, I wanna give you a very, very quick, this is the three day strategy within 72 hours to completely turn your motivations around. And I don't care how much you hate your work right now, if you're burnt out, this is gonna work. And so this is how we do the three day strategy. I want you to time your recovery for a Friday evening, and this is gonna last from Friday evening all the way until Monday. And what I want you to do is most people when they're burnt out, they resort to alcohol, they resort to pornography, they resort to even food binging to actually help you increase your productivity and energy levels. But what I want you to focus on is using sleep. And so Friday night, rather than going out to the bars, rather than watching late night movies, go to bed as early as possible to ensure you get 10 hours of sleep. And then when it comes to Saturday, you're still gonna feel a little bit tired because you're still burnt out. Do that one more time. And so now you would have had two nights of back-to-back 10 hours of sleep. I promise you by Sunday morning, you're gonna feel really, really good. But guess what? We're gonna do it one more time. Sunday night, go to bed super, super early and get an additional 10 hours of sleep. And so by Monday, the start of the week that all entrepreneurs know is the most important day of the week, Money Mondays, right? You would have had three back-to-back nights where you've gotten 30 hours of sleep. You're completely recharged and re-energized and you're ready to hit the week. Every single time I have reached burnout, I have applied this three-day strategy where you just don't stay up late, you don't drink alcohol, you don't do anything stupid over the weekend, but you maximize these three nights. And when you do that, you will feel so refreshed that it's like burnout never happened, right? But hopefully you never utilize the strategy because from the first two things, that would teach you how to avoid burnout. Now look, Burnout is one component that entrepreneurs struggle with, but there's so many other facets to helping you live a high-performance entrepreneurial lifestyle. 
And if you're interested, I actually have a free training I put together for you where I show you the three steps that I personally took to growing an online business over $500,000 in sales in less than eight months. And I use strategies like high performance. I use strategies like automation and having a team to back me up so that I can move faster. So if you're interested in watching that training, I'm gonna leave the first link down below for you to go ahead and click on. Click on the link. That's gonna take you to a registration page where you can type your name, your email, and then it's gonna give you access to a training. And also, if you're interested in working with me and my team directly to help you actually grow your business, we actually are open for enrollment for a high performance influencer coaching program. This is our flagship program where we take on average our students from zero to ten thousand dollars in sales in less than 30 days go ahead and click the second link down below to apply for that program to see if we're actually a great fit to work with each other and hey if you got value from this video i'd encourage for you to smash that like button hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because look that's the only way we can reach more people and add more value and also check me out on instagram i'll put my instagram right over there because i leave loads of value on there as well feel free to send me a message because I respond to all messages to help you out. And again, if you haven't clicked those links, I don't know why you wouldn't click that first link down below to watch that training, but if not, and you wanna stay on YouTube, go ahead and check out this first playlist over here. This playlist right here is gonna show you all the high performance strategies that I coach my clients on to make sure that you are the most high function individual out there. So click on that playlist. And if you wanna learn more about how to sell digital products like courses and coaching and how to scale that on social media channels like YouTube, go ahead and click that second playlist down there and that's gonna show you how as well. I cannot wait to see you next time and remember, how you do one thing is how you do everything. I'll see you next time.